everyone with me? Everyone ready? Good times. I'm going to grab the body just because I want to focus on the body right now. Now, what I will have to be doing is I'm going to hit spline, obviously, right? But when I start shifting keys, I want to go ahead and grab everything except the mouth. So now what we can do is the name of the game right now, you can see I just, you know, tightened up on his timeline. And what I want to do first, good. ooh, thick stuff like that, <laughs> right? A little bit of uh, Euler filter. Hopefully we'll fix that right up. But also I want to tighten things up. What the what your goal right now would be is to make sure anything that feels like a, like it's drifting, like a swimmy, like it's too even timing uh, or spacing, then you want to, you know, stretch one of these drawings uh, uh, out, meaning like drag it a little bit. And most of the time it's like, you know how, okay, good example of, of how you can look at it. You know how we all want to like put the drawing when we first start animating, we always want to tend to put the drawing where we think it will finally reach, right? And we know we'll cushion into it all through this early part. When I was telling you in, in, in Storytelling Pass, no, move that drawing way up over here, right? It's that drawing <laughs> that we're going to like stretch because you've already got the cushion, right? You got a cushion, you got an ease into that drawing, right? So we want to take that B pose drawing most of the time and anything like if it has a, an overshoot and settle, we want all that shit with it. But it's everything after that first cushion in. If it's the first cushion into the overshoot, it's the first cushion in just to your B pose, right? And you're dragging that stuff to tighten things up. So, for instance, right here, he's got. If I could take everything that was. Let's go. Actually, let's fix that wrist real quick, right? Let's fix that wrist. Yeah, that's easy. Cool. Cool. Let's go back to this body, all eyes, eye direction. Let's come back to here. And really all I'm looking for is like this little drift right here. See how even, watch this. I'll frame through this so you can feel it. See how that just feels like it's tick, 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 same, same kind of space in about the same amount of time, right? Each time, ding, ding, even, feels even. Doesn't feel like you're favoring in or out, right? So we want to we want to tighten that up in there because that's going to give us a little bit of a problem. So it all depends on if I, could take, if I, if I could probably could take this guy and shift him a couple frames. You were probably at six, so I just moved him two frames over. Make sure everything is keyed there. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. What is, no, it's not. What is that drawing? Okay, it's not. Okay. So this is where it's important to stay stacked. Stack keys, right? So see how we already have some, it looks like you're stacked for the most part, but there's some, there's some stuff in there that's not 100% stacked. I'm just going to give him some drawings here before you start dropping keys or shifting keys and locking shit down. Make sure. Uh, yeah, I'm already on auto. I'm going to add keys though to everything. Cause I, I just want to shift big groups of keys around to like lock things down. Right? So what I'll do here is I'm going to key this. And right now, all I'm trying to do is give you some more time in this drawing, Nicole, right? Because when this was stepped, this was the drawing that we read for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine frames, right? And then boom, it popped into this drawing, right? So we want to feel this drawing a little bit more. Good way to do it is just stretch this guy out. One, two, three. There we go. If I could take everything that was good, if I could take everything that was that? good, if I could take everything. Now, if I shift this so far, like let's say I had to go another five frames, right? Well, then I created probably a new drift going into that drawing. But because I only did three drawings or three frames, it's it doesn't feel too bad. That cushion right there, or that you know that little antic that you have in there, works really nice. Now that we added just a couple more drawings for it to cushion into it, does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I did find 
time that I had like a once I hit spline and like doing what you're doing, I did have like a lot more space in the beginning. So he could act. So you could actually read him looking at his uh, ring for longer. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. Um, you mean you're, you spaced it out even more than not what I just uh, did? Just, uh, yeah, about about that much. Maybe yeah, just a bit cool. more. But, Look at you. Uh, Sharing the yeah. brain right now. I love it. That's that's the name of the game right there. And you can see how easy it is, y'all. Right? It is literally shifting. That's all we're wanting to do right now is just find any spot right here. Right? Look at all those rings. A good foolproof way to find out whether or not you're going to have to, like, tighten up some stuff is see, like, look at all those frames, right? There's a whole lot of frame in there, right? So we can tell right away. Everything that was good. Oh, that's a drift, right? We wanted to feel everything that was good. That should feel like a little bit of a, a bounce, right? A little bit of a snappy bounce, right? Everything that was good. So, and again, get that be drawn every time. We're sliding this guy right here possibly the cushion but i don't think we do i think we got this let's just make sure we have a key on everything which we do right for the most part i think Ooh, almost i'm gonna i'm gonna give you the i'm gonna give you the goods boom boom all right and now we can shift and i'm gonna shift this guy now here's a perfect example of where we are going to create a new kind of problem right because we're going to stretch this guy over and I'm going to go far because I think it should be like good, right? So I'm going to go like way, this is on 1027. I'm going to go way the fuck over here. I'm going to get it really close to this guy. One, two, three, four frames apart. No, three frames. What is that? Five, four. Yeah. And let's see how that feels. Take everything that was good. Yeah, a little better. Good. Right? Feeling good. That's what we want, right? We want that good. Everyone with me? Everyone agree? Yeah? All right. All right. So, but we might have created another problem. We have now this. You kind of feel it kind of feels like it drifts. Now, we could solve that when we finish the arc. It might feel it might feel just fine. But if we're like, eh, we could play or we could we could favor a little bit more here. Um, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, right? But I'm going to look at it one more time. Take everything that was good and put it in. If I could take everything that was good. Yeah, I'm just going to favor up just a little bit. So I'm going to go somewhere right in between the keys and I'm just going to blend. I'm using everything. I got everything selected right now or just, you know, not the mouth. And I'm just blending. All I did was just blend towards that right neighbor, blend towards the B post. So I, all I did was create another cushion. Right, because now we have this cushion drawing or this cushion, this frame as a cushion, and this frame as a cushion. And then when we want to like get all Pixar-y, fleshy with our overlap and stuff, we have to these two extra keys now to play with. You know what I mean? So we can first thing what we'll do after we tighten up is we'll take our cog, and you know I did it with some of y'all. Same thing where we're gonna look at that how he's bouncing when our when our chest is gonna be crunching when it's gonna be stretching. And we're going to try to get that cog either before it or after it, depending on if we're leading with our head or if we're most of the time we lead a lot with our core, right? But it, it we might not in some pots, right? Sometimes we like to texture that shit in there. So, um, but we will finish arcs first with the cog, then we'll do like a little pass on the spine, and then we just branch out, right? Then you can do a head pass if you want or an arm pass, vice versa. It doesn't matter. Head's more important, right? So probably the head. Do the most important things, you know what I mean? I'd recommend doing that just for the clarity of when you're showing it in review, you're showing the most important things, right? If, as soon as possible. All right, so we added this guy. Let's see how that feels. I take everything that was good. Feels better. I could take everything that was good. I could take everything that was good. Yeah.